We're gonna convert a lawnmower from gasoline to electric. So we're gonna start with an underpowered device. Everybody said it's a terrible idea, but we're just gonna try it. It's gonna be the drill. We got the mower all hooked up. Jesse's gonna rock it, and we're checking out the, the watts. Get in there and mow some grass. There we go. This is the drill we're gonna to use to start the engine, but we're also gonna run it on the engine once we delete the engine. I think I'm gonna do it like a, what I call a piston delete. So no compression, but it'll still have all the mechanisms and placement. See, a lot of this stuff is like, you don't wanna throw out the baby with the bathwater. You know, you wanna like use some of the systems they have in place for brackets and holding. Uh, let me give an example. This one is electric. And, you know, they don't throw out the whole car. They just change it. So this is the charger, this is the batteries. But more importantly is the electric motor is mated still to the transmission. The blue barrel is the electric motor. Then the red is the adapter plate. That's not stock. Then the, the silver is the transmission. And that's stock. And then that runs the shaft to the wheel. As you can see right there. And then the other shaft goes to the wheel here. So, you know, th those are stock parts. You want to leave it as stock as possible. It's a big mistake a lot of people make is they want to tear apart the whole car. Or we're going to use this one. We're going to run this guy and then we're going to try out putting two different motors on there. We're going to try this drill. It's obviously going to be underpowered, but it's just a trial and error. And then we're going to measure the amps coming out of there to see what it does and whatnot. This is as a 3000 RPM rating, but it also has um, a gearbox. And so you can see the little fan for the motor. We'll take it apart and stuff like that. We're gonna have this motor. We might do the starter motor. And then we're gonna do a motor that a friend of mine gave me, which was the um, 500 watt DC motor. It comes off of this exact application. This is just a cover, but, but basically like a craftsman mower. Now, just for example, this is a 3.5 horsepower motor. And what's cool is we're going to get into how it processes power. So really, all you're trying to do is, is change energy into rotational kinetic movement. The gas motor is going to process the fuel through here. Okay, so that's the four-stroke process. We're going to get into that, but it can only process a certain amount of air and fuel at a time. And when it's at low RPM, it's at low processing speed, okay? That means that it's really only making a certain amount of power. That's why the gas cars always catch, not always, but most of the time they catch the electric cars in a quarter mile because towards the end, that car is processing fuel, which has a lot of energy, a lot faster, okay? So it's putting out horsepower, which is, horse. anytime you say the word power, you're talking about time. So at a certain amount of time, it's processing a lot of power and putting it to the road. Whereas this, at zero RPMs, it will process the entire contents um, of the battery or as much as it can. It's not restricted by processing speed. Give you guys a little spin, ready? There you go. <laughs> the tape came off. Even at low RPM, it's processing as much of this battery as it can, limited by the size of the wires in the coil, the diameter of the diameter of the armature, which I don't know if you could see inside there, that little gear looking thing. That's the armature, not the armature, the, uh, yeah, the rotor. And then the size of the wires, which these are actually kind of small. I think they're, that looks like 12 gauge to me. So, but if you see wires on an electric car, I mean, this is beyond... 12 gauge, this is like uh, two odd EV parts. I don't have another wire example, but you could see the difference. Oh, here we go. Look at this. 
Look at this. Look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you joking? What is this little, little dinky little thing? Okay, so that's the kind of wire you need like in a Tesla or whatever. Um, all right, so the first thing we're gonna do is step one is we're gonna run, I, I guess because this is the push mower, we're gonna run this guy first. All right, so we're gonna run that. Once we run it, then we're gonna do something like an in-between step. I don't know if you follow me through this. We're gonna take the cup, the pulse, the pull start off of here, right? We're gonna drill this out, it's just a couple of rivets, right? And we're gonna put a drill starter, which is a popular modification. Um, why, you know, why do you have to pull start it? It's too annoying. You know, just get a drill, bah, 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 and then doom, you just pull it off yourself. So we're gonna start out by making a starter, a drill starter for that. Once we do that, then we're gonna replace the engine. And I'm, what I'm thinking about doing is having this setup. I, mean, I have the bottom plate of an engine, I have the crankshaft, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this up in some way. If you look inside here, you have no piston. It's literally sitting on the bench. So you have a situation where it's actually an electric drive and then this will go onto the deck right there. Now, once we got that all sorted out, we're gonna go to the next stage. We're gonna go direct, no gas engine, no parts from the gas engine at all. We're gonna go pure electric, right? So that's, we're gonna use a big motor, this big 48 volt motor right here and it's gonna go directly on there. And then we're gonna power that with dun 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 dun, dun the Jehu Garcia ammo box. It's a one kilowatt pack with a whole bunch of 18650s in it. Let's take a look. Ooh. All right, boom. If you look inside, you're gonna see all those little purple ones. Wait, I gotta make some noise. Da 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 you know, some cool music. Anyway, you see all those purples? Those are the 18650s that are inside. So what's fun about this project is we're gonna go through the entire uh, process of converting your gasoline lawnmower over to electric and it's similar in analogy to what it's like to change over your car. There's all kinds of adapter plates and you gotta evaluate power. All right, so anyway, I'm Mr. G. That's just an update on what's going on and uh, we'll see you soon. All right, so next, what's the next move? Step one, start drill start, okay? That's what we're gonna do now. All right, see you later.